Hi, I'm Dr. Dan Sindelar. Obviously, oral systemic health is a very important subject for me. I like to bring people uh, along on this journey. Let's face it, I've turned into the biggest science geek you've ever met. And uh, <laughs> I still love to play golf, but boy, I am so into this and so into the science. One of the, the key research papers that came out a while back that were overlooked by many because it was in the Journal of Signaling, which is not a real big uh, publication and it was done in the University of Louisville and this was at least a year or two ago. What they were able to bring about in this research was they showed us that Porphyromonas gingivalis entered the bloodstream through the mouth and at that point it altered the white blood cell to transfer it from a destroyer into a carrier. Now that is such a huge, huge bit of information because I have so many research papers that show us where PG or Porphyromonas gingivalis goes and this is that bacteria where if it's present you are 13 times as likely to have a heart attack in your life. Now think about that. 13 times that's twice as likely as a heavy smoker. That makes this even more important than telling people to stop smoking. And PG is a very unique bad dude, and PG is found in almost every inflammatory disease, and the only place it comes from is the mouth. And when you look at it, you think, how did it get there? Those white blood cells now not only are unable to destroy it, but they're also being the carrier, and they're being transferred by enzymes in different systems where PG is utilizing that. It's like they've got their own little transportation system and that explains why it's being found in heart plaque, why it's being associated with Alzheimer's disease, rheumatoid arthritis, uh, increased risk for diabetes, uh, all kinds of diseases that, that are affected by oral health. This ties in also to how we can explain this to our healthcare professionals we deal with, also with our team. It just shows us how important our roles are as dental professionals to help improve oral health so we can reduce overall health care problems. So if you have any questions about this one, please comment below. I love to talk about the science part. Just call me the science geek. I don't mind.